guys, it's Grace and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my February favorites, but before I get into that, first off I want to say I'm sorry for my voice. I am recovering from a upper respiratory flu, so my voice is still kind of off and I might cough, so I'm sorry. And also, if you hear a ticking noise from my camera, it's focusing. I learned how to get it to like autofocus, but I just don't know how to turn the ticking noise off. So I apologize. I promise by my next video, I will not be there. So let's start off with beauty favorites. My first beauty favorite is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. If you saw my nighttime routine, you saw I use these to remove my makeup. I use these every night, and they work really well. They're not too harsh on my skin where like you can get the makeup off but you're not rubbing and rubbing and rubbing because that's not really good for you because your skin you can cause wrinkles. It doesn't, it's not overwhelming like with a smell, it doesn't make my skin burn. It's just, it's really light and it gets, it, it does, it basically does its job. This is a brush, it is the MAC, either the 187 or the 167. It's a stippling brush. I don't use this for my foundation, I use a beauty blender. But if I'm going to film when I get home from school and I need to touch up my foundation or um, when I do bronzer or blush, I help, this helps blend it out where it's not super harsh. And I do use this for my foundation sometimes, but not usually, because to me it kind of looks cakey. But just for little touch-ups and blending, it doesn't do too bad. My next favorite is the e.l.f. Under Eye Concealer and Highlight. I got this for $3, I think, at Target. Never, this is my first e.l.f. product I've ever tried, and I'm blown away by how amazing this is. I'm almost out of it, actually. This concealer is great, not just for your under eyes, but for your nose, um, the little like curves under your nose, your chin, anywhere you need concealing, it's great. This is probably the most amazing under eye highlight ever. It's just a white highlight you put under your eyes. I blend it out with my beauty blender. The only downside I found is like if you don't blend it out well enough, you'll get like a white patch under your eyes and that looks really good. Other than that, it's a really good product. I highly recommend it. It's not bad at all for the price makeup favorite is the Naked Urban Decay Lip Gloss and Walk of Shame. I'm wearing this today. It's, it's such a pretty light pink color. It goes with any look and just it, it's really pretty for spring and summer. It's minty and light and it doesn't dry out my lips or anything. It has a Next is the Essie Bikini Sotini nail polish. I have it on my nails but sadly it's chipping already. I mean, I'm just so bad with nail polish. I chip no matter how nice the nail polish is. But um, this is the perfect spring color to me. I love this so much. It looks great on the nails and the bottle. It's highly talked about on YouTube. A per it's like a periwinkle purpley color. I love it so much. I have the shampoo and conditioner, which I rarely change up my shampoo and conditioner because I pretty much use whatever my mom has because I'm so lazy. I don't buy new ones. But I've been using Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. It's infused with sea kelp and coconut oil for hy eh, intense hydration for all hair types. It is sulfate free, which I love because if you didn't know, if you color your hair, which I obviously do because it's not natural and I'm darkening my hair in a few weeks, that sulfates can strip your hair color and just they're not good for your hair. So my mom actually uses it as well and I have long, thick and full hair and she has shorter, thinner hair. So like I said, for every hair type and we both love it, I've noticed a difference in my hair, but it has an amazing smell. If I could open it, it's, it's dripping on me because I used it earlier, but it's like a really nice coconut, like it's like a coconut cookie dough almost because it's not super, super sweet like cookie dough, but it's not like super like fresh like coconut. It's like a coconut cookie dough basically. That's what it is. And it smells so good. Next, going on with the coconut and the hair theme is the Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti Breakage Serum from Organics Beauty Pure and Simple. I've never really heard this brand talked about much on YouTube. I really like this. I've been using this for a really long time, and this bottle has lasted me a crazy amount of time like, probably like six months. I use it every day. I just do two or three pumps and put it at the ends of my hair and then any extra I have I rub it through my entire head and it's really nice. I've noticed a difference especially combined with the shampoo and conditioner from Not Your Mother's. My hair has been so smooth and healthy and I really love this combination. Next for random favorites. The first random favorite is a fashion favorite. It's an infinity scarf. I'm obsessed with infinity scarves if you couldn't tell. This one's from Forever 21. This one's from Target. It was in my winter haul, I think. I love this scarf so much. It goes with everything. I pretty much wear this every day to school. It's not even a joke. But I just like it because it's cozy and, you know, when you're at my school, is like negative five degrees, so you want warmth. All my Alex and Ani bracelets, I, if you saw my winter haul, I had the Tree of Light, the silver one. So for Valentine's Day, my mom got me the silver G, and I freaking love it. Starting my Alex and Ani collection. I'm so excited. I wear these like every day, and I just love, I love the style they make. And my last favorite is Friends on Netflix. 
I've pretty much everyone's seen Friends. I own the entire box set. I just love watching it on Netflix. I just was watching it before I filmed this video, and I'm probably going to watch it after this video. I just love Friends. It's such a feel-good show, and it's hilarious. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best TV shows that's ever aired, besides American Horror Story, but one of the best comedies, because it's just something for everyone. So, that is all for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry again about my voice and the clicking and me touching my hair. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!